What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Papa JT. Coming at you with my week three NFL preview and predictions for the San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I expect this to be a pretty pretty good game. Um, I'm eager to see if the San Francisco 49ers can dethrone this hot Kansas City offense led by Patrick Mahomes. And let's get into the stats. The San Francisco offense versus the Kansas City defense. The 21st in yards per game with 136.5. The 26th in passing yards per game with 196.5. And their third in the NFL in rushing yards per game with 140. And their 17th in points per game with 23. The Kansas City defense is 32nd in yards per game, yards given up with 508. The 32nd in passing yards per game, given up with 430. And the 7th in rushing yards per game, given up with 78. And the 29 in points per game, given up with 32.5. Now, the reason why is because it's Pittsburgh Stiller. Pittsburgh Stiller game, passing game, really, really. Big Ben had to bring the Steelers back and even though they lost this is a big reason why they have these terrible passing numbers but I expect this to improve as the season goes on I don't think they will face another really great passing offense until they have to play the Patriots a few weeks from now um Kansas City offense versus the San Francisco 49ers defense. They're six and offensive the yards per game with 105.5. They're ninth in passing yards per game with 289. They're tenth in rushing yards per game with 116.5. They're number one in points per game on offense with 40. And the San Francisco 49ers defense is 23rd in NFL in yards per game, giving up 385. They give up 278 passing yards per game, which is 25th. And they're 19th and stopping the run with 107 rushing yards per game given up. And they give up 25.5 points per game, which is 21st in the NFL. The key is the victory that each team needs to accomplish to win. The San Francisco 49ers need Jimmy Garoppolo to get the ball out of his hands faster. Because last week against the Lions, he had four sacks, which he had more, but four of those were his fault because he held on to the ball too long. He needs to get the ball out quicker because this is a West Coast offense, which requires the quarterback to throw intermediate and short passing routes, which means he should be getting the ball out a lot quicker. Don't know why he's holding on to the ball for so long. Um, the defense needs to get the ball Needs to make Patrick Mahomes bait him into mistakes. He's a gunslinger. He's going to make those mistakes. He's very, very aggressive when it comes to forcing the ball downfield. Um, if they can bait him into some errant throws, some turnovers, this could be key to the 49ers winning this game. And Richard Sermon needs to slow down Tyreek Hill. He got paid a pretty lengthy and pretty heavy contract in the offseason when he signed with the 49ers so he needs to live up to that money in that contract by shutting down or at least limiting it trying to limit Tyreek Hill's yard so he needs to step up and limiting Tyreek Hill will go a big way because he's a big big focal part of this offense Kansas City needs to take shots needs to take shots deep because the San Francisco 49ers secondary is questionable especially at the safety position which is sermon is a corner but nobody knows how reliable he is um he still has had some plays that he has gotten his ankles broken um they need to stop marquise goodwin if he plays marquise goodwin is the really only real wide receiver option that they have um deontay pettis maybe but they need to take away Marquise Goodwin and force Jimmy Garoppolo to look somewhere else, which is going to really, really affect him holding the ball long because they don't really have no other good wide receivers other than Marquise Goodwin. And they need to take it down. They need to take away the check down throws. Um, I suggest taking away the underneath. 
If they take away the underneath throws, which is what this West Coast offense is based off, they will really, really cause problems in the play calling. And they will be able to make the 49ers run the ball a little bit more. If they're able to successfully execute this, I believe this will be a blowout game. I believe Kansas City will win this 28 to 10 if they're able to obtain this able to take away the check down throws and force Jimmy Garoppolo to make some tough throws in between defenders and whatnot. So the team I have winning this game, I had Kansas City winning. Um, I have them winning 28 to 17. I believe the San Francisco 49ers do not have the defense to stop this offense. Um, Richard Sherman might be able to stop Tyreek Hill, but who's going to stop Sammy Watkins and Travis Kelsey? And I believe that anybody who doesn't think that Kansas City will win this game, other than 49ers fans, have to be a little bit delusional because this San Francisco 49ers defense isn't really that good. And there's no way that they're going to stop this passing attack in Kansas City unless they have an off game. So make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.